yes hello everyone um good night to all of the cxc students across the caribbean now what i will be doing now i will be going through um some multiple choice questions now um this one i think it comes from um 2009 um specimen paper so um for this video i will be just going um through the first nine now i realize that some persons they're using like for example um data which is not um unlimited on their smartphones so definitely trying to cut these videos as short as possible so for this part i'll be going through these first nine questions on the next video then i will be going through some other questions so um as for question one all living organisms carry out certain activities which make them different from inanimate objects so basically this question is asking about the characteristics of living organisms so which of the following list shows three activities of all living organisms now the answer for this question definitely is um, D, which is reproduction, excretion, and growth. So as you can see, um, C, for example, said exercise. Now, not all living organisms um, need to exercise. As for B, preservation, not all living organisms will do that. And of course, um, synthesis not all living organisms so d is the correct answer moving down to question two which of the following cell organelles make proteins for the cell the answer for this one will be um, ribosomes and that is of course um, b as for nucleus nucleus is what um, control the activities that take place inside a cell as for the mitochondria this is known as the powerhouse of the cell meaning that that is where energy is released as for cell membrane cell membrane of course allows substances to enter and leave the cell so d is the correct answer moving down to three the initial energy of a food chain comes from the answer for that would be um, a and that is of course um the sunlight so sunlight is the correct answer not the plant not chlorophyll chlorophyll is actually the section or the part of the plant leaf that will trap the energy that comes from the sunlight as for carbon dioxide no carbon dioxide of course is involved in that process where plant make their own food so a is the correct answer moving down to number four the function of nitrifying bacteria is to convert the answer for this is um b and that is converting nitrite to nitrates so um you answering this question you have to be knowledgeable about the carbon cycle so most definitely you have to study the diagram that represents the carbon cycle moving down to question five night blindness is caused by a deficiency of which one of these um vitamins and that would be um vitamin a now the word deficiency means lack of so that simply means that you're not eating or consuming enough of that particular um nutrient so that will be um vitamin a which is option a moving over to question six Which of the following foods would most likely prevent constipation? Now, first we have to know what does the word constipation mean, and that is, of course, the inability to pass um, feces. Now, the answer for this question is C. So, in terms of uh, the combinations for C. We have II, which is carrots. So, of course, that is a vegetable. So, you will get some roughage from that. Triple I there, that would be um, water, very important. 
and we have um iv which would be um cabbage so definitely um with these with you consuming this food then it can prevent what is known as um constipation moving down to question seven which of the following foods when consuming excess does not contribute to obesity so milk <laughs> you consume a lot of milk then of course that will be you you consuming a lot of fat protein excess protein can be converted into fat in the human body and carbohydrates also so definitely c is the correct answer which is um roughage question eight which of the following is a definitive sign of malnutrition right so the word malnutrition um guys it can either mean you're eating too much or you're eating too little of a particular nutrient so question eight again which of the following is a definitive sign of malnutrition and of course you can see option d overweight so you're eating consuming too much fat too much carbohydrates then of course that can lead to what is called overweight of course um, obesity going down question nine which of the following formula is used to determine bmi that is um body mass index and the correct answer for this of course will be um b which is height divided by weight square so again guys this is the first um nine questions i will be doing another video continuing um this so i'm going to continue with question 10. again i'm asking you to bear with me simply because um i cannot do this video any longer because some persons they are actually using data so i want to make the videos as short as possible so once again guys um thanks for viewing please stay tuned for the next video